This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in these products, check the links in the description. Mixing bowls. If you have a KitchenAid stand mixer, there's a couple of reasons you might want to consider buying extra bowls. Um, a lot of people do things like mix various recipes at one time, and certain things like buttercreams need to be re-whipped before use. So being able to leave items in the bowl with the attachment and re-whip or remix or fluff them up as needed is always a plus. It means less dishes in the long run. So there's a few different kinds of bowls that you can buy for your mix KitchenAid mixers, and we have two of them here. There's also a glass version that we don't have, but these metal ones are great. Uh, this one actually came with our mixer. You can see it's for a tilt head, so it locks in on the bottom. And one thing to always make sure is that you're buying a replacement bowl that will actually work with your brand and model. So you always want to check the listing and make sure it'll fit. These metal ones are fantastic, can be used in a wide variety of ways, and you can also do things like use them, uh, dip them into things like a uh, ice bath if you need to chill something up really quickly or even you can use your little uh, kitchen torch on them if you need to heat the bowl a little bit say sometimes when maybe a uh, something is breaking a little bit. So they are versatile because they're metal. But as you can see, this one is for my four and a half quart mixer. And this ceramic one actually fits both the four and a half and the five quart mixer. So by getting a second one that's the ceramic, we actually got a slightly larger bowl size and capacity for our four and a half quart mixer, which is really nice. The ceramic ones are uh, chip resistant and uh, resistant to cracking and staining. They can go in the freezer, microwave, and dishwasher, which is really nice. Uh, and the listing for those even says they can go into the oven up to 475 degrees. Don't know if I'd ever actually put mine in the oven because I love it and it's gorgeous, but it's nice to know that you can. Um, we love the decorative pattern. It adds a little splash of color and a little bit of whimsy to our otherwise pretty much um, blah stainless steel environment because we have a commercial kitchen space. So there's just some pluses to that as well. Um, they also make great serving dishes. So if you're making something up, like maybe an ambrosia salad, you whip up your whipped cream, you can toss all your other ingredients in and then take this directly to the table. So it means less things to wash. So there's a lot of reasons why you should definitely get a second bowl to go with your mixer. It's always handy to have one and awesome. And there's a few different options you can consider based on what you wanna use it for. Are we going more utility or would we also like to do things like add a pop of color and be able to use it as a serving dish? If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.